How's it going, guys? Jonah, T. Wilcock, Rodrigo. How are you guys doing tonight? Happy Friday, yeah. So thought I'd jump on and uh, I'm going to do a little sketching tonight. And then I also wanted to talk about a, a book I just got. I picked this up at a, um, a uh, Japanese store in... Uh, I don't know what town it was in, Arlington Heights, Illinois. Um, really cool bookstore. It was, uh, you know, tons of like, um, it's a, it's a Japanese bookstore. So there's like lots of manga, lots of art books, um, really cool stuff. And I, I picked this one up. This was, a um, from an artist, uh, from, uh, Trigger, I think, uh, they do um, animes and stuff like um, Kill a Kill, uh, Gurren Lagann, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but I, I just, I really like uh, the guy's art style and stuff. Um, so I like picking up books like this uh, for inspiration and things like that. You know, even though I don't draw necessarily like this, um, there's a lot of. Uh, you know, inspiration that can be drawn from, from, uh, you know, just really good art. Um, you know, whether it's like little ways of how, how they do like, uh, anatomy, uh, you know, the poses and stuff, um, how they draw hands, things like that, you know, cause like I said, it's not necessarily how I draw exactly, but you know, I, 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 I really do appreciate it. So, but yeah, I got, I got this and then I got, um, some new, uh, some new pens and stuff. Uh, and I, I know I don't really post a lot of like traditional stuff at all, but, um, yeah. So I thought I'd just show you guys that and then, um. I'll do uh, do some drawing, some studies in, in sketchbook, something different than, um, you know, uh, being on the iPad. So, hey, man. Uh, you know, it's always, I'm always trying to jump back and forth between both because, you know, there are times where I, where I have to uh, do some traditional stuff. Um, whether it be uh, a, uh, a commission or whatever every now and again or sketch cards and things like that. So it's good to keep up, you know, my uh, my skills where I can't undo, like, everything real quick. Uh, my lovely wife, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So... Again, I'm, I'm just going to do some study. So I'm studying tonight from uh, Simplified Forms, uh, the Morpho book. Um, and I'm actually, the sketchbook I'm using is a uh, sketchbook that I got from Mike Hawthorne. Uh, he uh, did a lot of Deadpool. Yeah, some traditional work, yeah. Well, you got to jump jump in between, like like I was saying, so... Um, if you guys have any questions, as usual, just throw them in the chat. Uh, if there's something that uh, we can work on together, like uh, drawing-wise, uh, let me know. Because so the more I have to think about things, the, the more I understand things and learn. and you know, Or if I have to explain stuff. Yeah, he is he's he's a really good artist and he has a lot of uh um good anatomy uh like um materials. So I bought a 
uh, what's it called? I think it's it's called uh, cheat codes, drawing cheat codes, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll grab it real quick so I can show you guys. Because uh, I would I would recommend it, uh, especially if you are um, in a, a study mode and you're trying to learn uh, like kind of like simplified anatomy. So this is uh this is the uh drawing cheat codes uh book that I bought from Mike. Um and I got this off his gum road. Uh so I bought I bought a physical copy and, and he also has PDFs and stuff. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep uh always 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 be learning, Nate. Um so like I said, it's it's just like uh, real simplified like diagrams and stuff. Um, quick references for like proportions and things like that of the head, uh, some different examples of, uh, you know, turning the head in space. Um, this is definitely like, uh, I would say, uh, drawn from the, uh, kind of Loomis method with the, where you have the ball, the shaved off side plane. Um, it's just real useful. Like I said, it's got a lot of, uh, of the measurements for like proportions and things in here um some uh hand hand drawn sorry about that uh so i would recommend if you guys are interested in in like anatomy books and stuff like this uh i would definitely pick this up a great great resource to study from you know and it's not overly like complicated it's very easy to understand um the other thing i got from him is uh this this is uh, a bunch of his uh he's a teacher he teaches at a, a college too um like anatomy courses and uh he put together a collection of his uh lectures uh from his anatomy uh uh, lectures for his class and this is you know this is more uh, um, it has a lot of information in it uh, maybe more in depth than you know you you may want to go for like um, learning like the names and stuff of everything uh, to because to be honest with you uh, you know I, I I know some of the names of the muscles and that's just from looking through books, books and stuff, uh, a lot of uh, anatomy books and over the years, and you know you just kind of remember certain things, uh, you know, because this is more academic. But he's got a lot of different um, demos and diagrams. Uh, you know, all this stuff is really, really great. And I just like I like the way he uses shapes and stuff. So it's nice and simplified. You know, it's easy to understand, uh, and, and he breaks he breaks things down in a way that um, that again I find uh, it's a it's a it's it's easy to absorb I guess so. But anyway, I would I would recommend this too if uh, again if you guys are into studying anatomy and stuff. And I think when I bought it, I got I got the cheat codes. Uh, I might have got it all together as like a pack, um, and then it came with the uh, the the little sketchbooks too, and a bunch of stickers and stuff that I stick everywhere. Even yeah, that's a the draw sticker. I I got that from him too. So anyway, uh, I'll uh, get back to it. Um, so I've been. Uh, I've been watching a lot of um, manga artists draw uh, on YouTube, and I noticed that a lot of, of how they make their strokes, they're very confident in their um, their mark making. So it's a lot of like, you know, like that for like roughing things out. And I thought that was that was very interesting. 
you know, they try to hit things in like um, almost one stroke. So I don't know if that's just, and I noticed like more than one, uh, one person doing that. And I, I thought that was an interesting approach. Um, hi, Johnny. So I've been trying to kind of, kind of do that too, uh, a little bit, or see, see, see if it, if I like the, if I like that way of drawing. Not very good at it yet. Mark making I notice yeah isn't that interesting just uh, watching how other people uh, draw um, you know some guys are um, they just flow right into the stuff easily like I'm I, I've always been more of a, a messy type like sketching like I'll, I'll make like lots of lines and then kind of come back from that and uh, whittle it down. Except for when I'm I'm trying to ink. If I'm trying to ink, then it then it is more of a, uh, you know. I'll try to make that line deliberately, you know, as much as possible. Um, because if I if I slow down too much, then then my lines get pretty wobbly, and it and it uh, they never really work out the way I want them to. So I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's why uh, when I'm watching them draw, they they approach even the pencils like that because it's you know it's maybe the way that they ink too. You know, like with the very confident uh, line work. Hey, big boss. So again, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to throw them in the chat. I'm just studying tonight again. And this time I'm doing it traditionally, working out of a book. Got to cons, got to constantly be trying to uh, sharpen the skills, you know. I still have, I still have a lot to learn, and it never, never stops. I feel like if I don't, if I don't do studies like this, um, I'll start to get rusty, and. Uh, then like my normal normal pieces they they get uh takes me longer to get get through them you know okay how much time do i dedicate to practice uh a lot actually i i um you know if if i'm not drawing a uh like for the most part I've been do I I do like a daily like drawing that I'll post to to Instagram, right? Um those again only take you, you typically, you know, if it's not too complicated of a piece or I I'm more comfortable with the subject subject matter, you know, I'm getting through those within like, you know, like hour and a half, 2 hours, right? So then any other time I'm drawing during the day, it's usually study. Um and uh, and I'll study all various things. It's mostly figure stuff because um, 
you know, that's that's the exciting stuff, I guess. You know, I I should study other things more often, like um, you know, more hard surface stuff. And I've been trying to I've been trying to do that uh, here and there um, because all that's important too. But, um, you know, we're, we're humans and we like seeing characters and stuff. And it's exciting to see like your favorite, uh, action, uh, or, or, you know, comic book character or whatever, or cartoon character. Um, and they're, they're, they're humans or figures. So that's what I focus on. I, I, I think that figure a figure figure studies, you know, is I'm never going to be completely happy with it, but um the more the more I study, the more comfortable I get. So, and the faster I can I can draw things, and that that's what's important to me is uh to be able to get my ideals across. Yeah, they're boring. Um but you know like it's whenever i i do do like little comic stuff that's when um i'll be like man i need to study uh i need to study more buildings and props and stuff you know like how do i draw this car so i'll sit down and i'll you know draw a car a bunch of times and try to try to work out the shapes and stuff and uh in my my own uh in my own language, in my shape language, you know, because I mean, like, basic, basically, if you can turn something into like a basic shape, uh, that's for me. That once I get to that point, um, and I can turn it in space, then I, I'm, I'm pretty good. Then, like, uh, I feel like I got it down enough, and I, anything else is just, uh, you know, like details that I need to work on, you know. But the, uh, you know, uh, like human body is so, um, I guess you would say it's uh, malleable and, um, it can be really rigid. It can feel like it's like really soft, the, in certain spots and just knowing where to, to, um, you know, put those things in the pinch and the stretch of the, the figures, you know, it just takes, it takes time. It builds and builds and builds on it. Like, uh, I would always, I would always feel like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to learn every muscle in the leg and then that'll be it. But it's never it, you know, and I keep, uh, I'm going to keep that information in my head for about a week, you know, like this muscle is the medial whatever, and then it's gone. Hi, Rodriguez. Thank you. Um, so I'm always having to refresh myself and I also find too, like, um, and, and that, sometimes I'm not ready for the information I'm trying to study or learn, you know, like you, like, I feel like there are certain levels that you have to be at to like, um, uh, retain like certain things, you know, and then, uh, and you have to have, uh, it's like kind of like an RPG, you know, like you'll you'll grind be grinding you know beating uh, uh you know uh characters and uh um fighting people and gaining experience points and then when you get to a certain experience point or, or you know uh a level then you can um buy new new gear or gain new abilities and that's that's kind of how I feel like uh the learning process for for drawing has been for me 
you know, like your 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 eyes as you as you study, they they start to see the things that you you couldn't see before, you know. Um, like you ever you ever draw something? Hi, trout. You ever you ever draw something like uh, you know like a couple months ago, and then you you find that drawing and you look at it and you're like, what the hell is this? Like, did I draw this? This is you know it's it looks awful, or you know you you can see all the mistakes in it. Thanks, E man. Um, you know that's because as as you learn and you get better, your 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 perception, your your eye gets better. You know, you can you can see the uh, you can see your mistakes easier. You know because you're you're more experienced. Um, but it takes all that that grinding and leveling up before you can get there, you know. So, I mean, each thing, everything you do builds. Hi, Bruce. Um, builds upon what you have learned previously, you know. Seeing a mistake, Sir Clarence, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know what, though? Being able to see the mistakes that you made, like in drawings uh, that you've done in the past, that's that's good that you can see that, you know? That means, that definitely means you have uh, grown as an artist. Oh, you just drew <laughs> That's awesome. Chicago, Chicago versus Detroit. Um, but yeah, it just means it means you you've you've uh, you've grown and you've gotten better uh, because you know, yeah. <laughs> um, because when you. Um, if you if you're drawing all the time and you're just like uh, looking at uh, your things and be like oh yeah that's that's great you know then uh, I know when I'm drawing stuff and uh, when I first draw it I'm like man this is this is okay you know like it's it's not bad and like I said you go look at it later and it's uh, it's all messed up um, like things are way skewed or uh you know the uh proportions are off or whatever but and then you wonder how you didn't uh how you weren't able to see it um when you first drew it yeah checking out the the progress in new versus old uh motivates consistent payoffs sketching yeah absolutely You love to study other, yeah, I, I, totally. Me too. That's that's how um, that's how I learn. That's I learn from um, as many different uh, artists and different styles as I can. You know, like from like fine like uh, fine artists, uh, figurative artists, and um, you know, then like people that are just like uh, really awesome cartoonists. Um, because they all have different, uh, different things to art, uh, offer, you know, um, different ways of interpreting, uh, the world around them. All right, let's work on something. Let's see. Let's find some feet. That's 
what I need to work on. Feet are always a um, is a, a weakness, I would say, of mine. Let's see. Let's draw a calf. Try to get like a basic shape to like cut into heel. Thanks, Carvalho. Hopefully, I said that right. Yeah, don't go live, Phil. Get those feet. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of uh, Rob Liefeld's uh, podcast lately. I was listening to it today, um, and he was talking about uh, derivative characters. Um, and it was interesting. He's, you know, like I think I was saying this before. He's very passionate about uh, uh, comics and stuff. Um, it's a, it's a good podcast if. If you like podcasts, I would, uh, whoops, I would not throw a pencil. Uh, if you like podcasts, um, <laughs> geez, um, so I'm not used to holding this pen. This is a big pencil. I got, I got this today at the Japanese store. It's a uh, black wing. And it's got this weird eraser on it, so it's 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 a little bit top heavy. So it just kind of got away from me. It's like a uh, uh, almost three dollar pencil. Um. Yeah, it's a good thing I do wear glasses. Um, I saw, I think I saw somebody else drawing with one of these pencils, and that's why I decided to get it. Yeah, the captain. Oh, really? That's awesome, Tony. Um, that that's awesome. I'm. I uh, rarely ever uh, hear from uh, people who have received those cards, um, so that's that's cool to know that uh, somebody got one. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I have. A, I have a. My my go to pencil is usually the. Uh, uh, Ticonderoga. Um, but like I said, I saw I saw another artist drawn with this, so I decided to check it out. It's it's nice. It's a uh, very soft lead. Um, so I don't know if I'll uh, I'll be buying it. Like a whole box was was like I want to say it was like almost thirty bucks at that the store so i i don't know if you know things were a little bit more expensive there like the like the book that i i i showed a book at the beginning of the the live today and that was like 50 something dollars for that book but it's like imported i don't know i don't know if that's why Oh, excellent. I'm I'm glad to have you, Tony. Glad to have you. I I, I have uh, more uh doing more cards for them. Um can't really talk about like what the subjects are or whatever, but yeah, I'll have some more coming, so. Um 
Also, a spare needed erasers to use. I also prefer using mechanical pencils, so I learned. So, the messy on the image. You know, I used to use, uh, I used to use mechanical pencils too, and I, sometimes I still do. Um, yeah, you gotta support the, the smaller places. Although this, the, it's, uh, the store, the building that it's in is called Mitsuya, I think, I think that's what it was. And it's, it's basically like a little Japanese, like, I would say mall. I mean, it's not the size of a mall. It's maybe the size of a, of, um, I don't know, like a target, like a small target or a supermarket. And, uh, they kind of have sections. They have a food court, they have a grocery store, they have the bookstore. There was like a whole like, uh, video section in there. It was, it was a pretty awesome place. Um, you know, it's about 45 minutes away from where I live. Um, and I would definitely go there again. Uh, next time I'm, uh, I'm gonna maybe take some more time and, and look around a little more, but, um, it's definitely, definitely a, uh, nice place. H Mart is awesome. I don't know if we have H Marts around here. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure if, if we have one. I, I'll, like, I didn't even know that this, the, the place was, uh, around here. My wife saw it on, um, saw it on TikTok. Somebody was, uh, talking about it on there. And she's like, oh, this is in Arlington Heights. You'll, you'll probably like it because they had, like, uh, my, my boys are um, into Gundam and uh, Gunpla and stuff like that. So uh, they they were, like, kind of talking about that. And they had, they had uh, some of that stuff there. Um, I went there because they definitely had, they had uh, some of the, po like, different pose books. Um like I don't know if you guys have ever seen them before. I I have one, but it's uh, it's upstairs, and it's just like a, a a big book of like different like uh, poses and stuff like for for art that you can draw from, like reference um, different angles, people holding like swords, things like that. It's a good resource. Books are or great in general. I, I love, uh, books. Um, you know, cause it, everybody, uh, most people have access to Google and whatever. So you get a lot of people drawing from the same, um, same resources of reference. You know what I mean? Cause you know, you go, like you want to draw like whatever, uh, a tree or a car and you type it into Google you know, most popular is going to come up first. And, you know, how many times do you really go beyond, like, the first uh, couple of pages in, uh, in the search on Google? Not Probably not much. Um, so everybody's kind of drawn from the same stuff. Whereas if, you're, if you have, like, a lot of books, reference books, you know, you're getting, like, different images that may not be like online necessarily, you know? So like, uh, I'll, I go to half price books, maybe like at least, uh, once a month, but maybe even more. Cause you know, uh, they're always, uh, turning over, um, different products, you know, people are bringing things in selling them. So I usually pick up uh, a lot of reference books from there. Um, I found some figure, figure books, where they have, it's just a book full of just, um, like figure drawing, uh, poses and stuff. And again, much like that pose book, except it's more, um, ones that I usually find at half price books, they are more academic. Um, it's not like, uh, people like using swords and guns and stuff.
but those are always always good resources. Again, if you guys have any questions, always uh, just throw them in the chat. Keeps me keeps me talking. Do you like other historical art forms such as Art Deco? They draw the figures, anatomies, very simple. Yes, I do. Um, so uh, I like I like Art Deco. Um, also, Art Nouveau um, is uh, something that I was really into, um, like Alphonse Mucha and stuff like that. You know, where it's like very flowy and. They have like bold like outlines and stuff um, and a lot of, uh, you know, like flowery kind of designs and things like that. Very flowing. Um, there's a point in like study and stuff. It, I would study that stuff a lot and, and it was in... Um, you know, I would try to incorporate it in what I was doing. You know, it's got a lot of like Art Deco stuff, uh, I would say is uh, Batman the Animated Series, a lot of the uh, building design and uh, the aesthetic of that show it was very like uh, I feel like had a lot of Art Deco influence I have a uh, I have a regular job I'm an electrician by trade so basically if somebody has something wrong with their electric I go they call us uh, I go out and I fix it so, um, then I do, I, I do commissions and things like that, uh, and art, uh, like I'll go to conventions and stuff and have, I'll get a table. Uh, so I would say, you know, um, I don't make enough money off of art to, uh, you know, not have the other job. But then again, I've never tried, you know, I've never really like said, okay, um, you know, I'm just an artist now, I'm, you know, and that, that has a lot to do with, you know, just other responsibilities and stuff. Maybe if I was young and I didn't have like a, a family, I would just, um, you know, take the leap or whatever. But right now it's just... Not there. If I ever got the opportunity, I, I you know, I would. You know, just kind of waiting for the right thing to come along. You know, I get people asking me, you know, like if I want to draw a comic with them or, you know, this or that. And, and then I get like some weird, like, uh, some weird requests or to be a you know, like a partnership with some X thing or whatever. Um, and they always, it, it always seems like, oh, you know, something that's not, uh, seems like something's up or fishy. So, just haven't had the right opportunity yet, I guess. Oh, I'm getting more loose, I think. Do I collect trading cards? Um, 
Yeah, I don't I don't collect them as much, but I do have uh, I have a couple of uh, sets of of the uh, Jim Lee X Men cards. I, I mean, like the stuff I collect is usually um, it's mostly books, and then like uh, things that I remember from my childhood. Like I just uh, I just got uh, two of these um, X Men cups that they had. Uh, for uh promotion um for pizza hut back in the day back in the 90s and i remember um uh, you know my mom would take us there and i can't i think it was for like a reading challenge or whatever or, and uh it was x-men they had comics and things and um so i just i just bought two of those cups uh uh off of ebay and i just got them so those are the kind of things I collect, like little nostalgic things from my childhood. Uh, let me look it up. I'm not sure. Spider Man and W. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't I don't I don't remember that. It looks cool though. I'm gonna draw like one more foot here and then probably call it a night. I just thought I'd jump on and hang out a little bit with you guys and and talk. Um so I've been thinking about putting together some uh maybe like some lessons and uh, putting them on uh, gum road for like a, you know, like a buck or two. And uh, I was wondering what you guys might be interested in seeing like, uh, like what, what kind of uh, topics would you guys be interested in me trying to uh, teach or learn, uh, you know, like drawing wise. Or if that's if that's even something that you guys would be interested in. You know, I, I was thinking of uh, you know, like doing like a hand video and then go trying to go more in depth. You know, do something like uh you know, maybe like forty five minutes of an hour of, of just like kind of uh breakdowns and stuff. Um for like hands and, and other, I, I can do other things too. Hey man, how you doing, Peanut? Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some like, um, like some instructional stuff. And uh, putting it on Gum Road or whatever, and just uh, wondering uh, 
what people would be interested in. Hey man, how you doing? That's awesome, all the way from Brazil. So again, those for uh, you just jumped in. Uh, probably gonna be finishing up here pretty soon, but I was, you know, I'm thinking of uh, putting together some some videos, uh, some instructional stuff, and just wondering what people would be interested in. Twisting figures. I'm gonna write that down. Okay. S Dog, how you doing? Tips for drawing buildings. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you know, um, that would that would be a uh, good video to do for myself. Um, then it would force it would force me to think about it. Shadowing and lighting the figure. Okay. So lighting. Oh, you, it, it won't let the the torso and the pelvis face different directions. So you mean like you draw a lot of like straight on, uh, straight on poses? Um. Break down the basic shapes. Uh. Yeah, that's very important. I mean, the figure twisting and stuff, um, there's a, uh, a, I forgot what it's called. It's some, it's like a, an animation, uh, book, and they talk about, uh, maybe it's the animator survival guide or whatever, and they talk about using a pillow to kind of simulate that torso and, um, and the uh, twisting and stuff of it. And you know, just trying to, if you want to twist a torso, just think of it something like, like that. So you got like, it'd be like your front and like say this is your back or whatever. And then we can like, you know, maybe beef it up a little bit. I don't know. That's a little weird. I don't know. That's something I gotta think about. But it's some something like that, you know, like you uh it's like pinch and stretch. And uh just breaking things down and to like you know, just combining that torso and that pelvis kind of into like a a um, kind of like a, a rectangular shape force perspective that that is a uh, that would be a good one Anyway, guys, I'm pr I'm gonna I'm gonna hang it up for tonight. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Um, again, I'll I'll post this uh, on uh, IGTV and try to um, post it on YouTube. Again, I, I appreciate you guys, and uh, I will uh, see you see you later. And uh, thanks, guys.